an inventor, and more often than not, inventions spawn from inspiration. My inspiration is my friend Keith, who's a quadriplegic and spends most of his life laying in bed. My inspiration are also the many, many soldiers who have come home from foreign battles, missing multiple limbs, suffering from severe paralysis, and more often than not, void of any and all hope. I wanted, and frankly, I needed to do something to improve the quality of their lives. And it's because of them and their heroic spirit that I invented a technology that gives them and all of you the ability to have a nearly telepathic control over the computers, machines, and robots all around us. And where did I start? For me, the decision was so easy. It was with a wheelchair. I thought to myself, what if I can create a technology that allows anybody to sit in a wheelchair and relax and just be themselves and not have to touch a joystick or a touch screen or manipulate pressure pads behind their head or even put a, an object in their mouth like a sip puff straw. And I thought to myself, what if I could take that technology and put it into a wearable that society has already accepted, one that we all love to use every single day, smart earbuds. Put in a pair of smart earbuds and have a total command and control of that wheelchair. Here's what happened. Thank you. Sometimes, in order to see a future technology, I always say that it's very wise to look at our own past. Over 5,000 years ago, ancient Sumerians invented the very first written language for humanity. It's called cuneiform. Cuneiform was comprised of a series of triangles, wedges, and multi-dimensional line patterns. And the Sumerians used cuneiform to communicate over vast distances in time. The construct of cuneiform characters was my very core inspiration to my invisible three-dimensional user interface that's also based on multi-dimensional line patterns that was responsible for everything that you just witnessed. The Sumerians were said to pray to their mythological Anunnaki gods, who they felt had a complete command and control not only of Earth, but of the entire universe. And it's because of that I've decided to name this invention Naki. It's a breakthrough technology with over 21 patents around the world that focus on the power of human microgestures, the nearly invisible and subtle facial and head movements that we all make. This technology takes those nearly invisible facial and head movements and converts it into a language that allows all of us to control phones, laptops, computers, machines, robots, the metaverse, basically our entire connected world. Speaking about our entire connected world, it's now referred to as the Internet of Things, billions and billions of interconnected devices all communicating with one another. And it's now said that each and every one of us here tonight interacts with over 50 of them in our lives, which makes our reality increasingly more complex. It's long been a dream of some to control this ocean of connected devices with thought control. Some have even suggested that we all use brain implants. What I've invented is an alternative. It's an alternative to the keyboard, mouse, joystick, and it's a non-invasive alternative to those brain implants. To somebody watching you use this technology, it would almost appear as though you have that kind of magic that we all recall from TV shows like Bewitched or I Dream of Genie, where you have the power to command, control, and navigate this ocean of connected devices 
without looking at anything, without speaking to anything, and without touching anything. In a very subtle way, you just move your head in almost an invisible way, and you can browse to your favorite album by your favorite artist and play your favorite song while skiing down a mountain. Move your nose to the left and up with the slightest of head tilt, and you can now communicate non-verbally with your friends using pre-recorded speech. Raise your eyebrow, check your email, or write an email. You can even play a video game just by looking at it, which is exactly what my friend Keith did for the very first time in a very long time due to his quadriplegia. Here's what happened. It's a passion of mine to give Keith and all of you a simple, safe, universal, silent, and invisible manner to control the Internet of Things, to truly make machines work for us. The very famous sci-fi writer, Arthur C. Clarke, once said, any sufficiently advanced technology is indiscernible for magic. This is a new kind of magic and the wheelchair is just the beginning. Thank you.